Alright, this is how you set it up. This is fresh air on another one. How you been doing? I know I've been absent for a while, and I apologize. It's okay. Sometimes you gotta take a break, and relax, and reset. <laughs> Even the best of us have to reset. We have to reevaluate where we're at, because every time, every day, things are changing at a fast pace. Before you know it, the new trend. Before you know it, things have fall, fallen apart. Before you know it, things are going in the right direction. The ball keeps rolling every day. Now, we have to understand like where we are at and how we react. Now, if we could just get out of a breakup and now we're at the bar just talking shit, you're the cat. I see the cat within you. Your emotions are on, I just want to get back. You're just going to be the platter of my distraction. You're just going to be the one that takes me on as I am, as I got over a relationship that I thought was going to work. Sometimes we sit back and we don't realize what we're doing is hurting people, not anybody else. You're hurting yourself. That's what's happening because when there's somebody with the intellect to understand what a relationship really means, you're going to, when I see you at face value and you're just doing scheming shit, what happens is I'm not going to look at you with no respect anymore. At least for the moment until you can show me something different. Conversation goes a long ways. Body language goes a long ways. I can look at you and just break you down into this, look, we're going <laughs> to, I'm, I'm just saying, like, you got to think, when you're scheming and doing all this, this has all been done before. Lived through it, done it, all that shit. That's why I can relate to a lot of that stuff. Because I started realizing that the things that happened in my life, I started acting a certain way, and that was the ticket to my success or demise. What was motivating me in that period of time in my life? What was my downfalls in the period of my life? What did I believe in that wasn't serving me any good? Where did I finally believe in a power greater than myself was going to help carry me through and tell me when am I going to actually change? If we continue going down this path where we're just in the same cycle of, a, 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 of action, you're not the only one going through it. We got to break that cycle because that's what's happening with these relationships out there. They're not becoming anything serious unless something changes. And that change is within you. The change is in with you. You understand that, yes, you're going to get your heart broke. You're going to try your efforts to get that right person in your life. But what happens is we get stuck believing in something that doesn't matter at the moment. That's why we have to re-involve ourselves, reinvent ourselves to be in the moment, to understand that dying devotion to be your best self and wondering why things happen in your life. It's already been out there. People have already been talking about it, but a lot of people don't understand that the things they do are just a product of their demise. So when I see people do and act a certain way because they're going through a certain part of their lives. I already see past that because I'm focused. And I can also translate. I can translate actions. I can translate understanding. I can translate languages of body language. You know what I'm saying? Body language speaks more than words most of the time. Somebody could say something, but the vibe's coming out. And even close to what, what they are uh, actually feeling. So when you see somebody, you see a different vibration in how they act, how they talk to you, or how they even maneuver around your energy, your source of energy. Because a lot of times, I can walk into a room, I'm not saying I'm everything, and I'm not flashy, but I could change a room. 
just by my presence. People start acting right. People know not to act out of out of pocket. And they don't even they don't even have to ask me. Because that's the persona and body language I put out. <coughs> You have to believe in yourself for once. That you have to find your positive distractions. Your positive distractions is needed. And so when you redefine your time to where you can finally get away from the realities of life every day. And you can center yourself and be in your element of what you enjoy to do. Then that's what you have to find. You have to find that common ground. Where you can release, forgive, and understand. It's hard to do a lot of times in the moment because we got a lot of thoughts going through our heads saying this, 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 or this, this, this. And we're trying to decode that understanding. And a lot of times that's meant to keep you away from the truth. Because that's that what? Egotistic mind coming back in to re-destroy you. Because we go through the cycle of trying to be somebody good for somebody and we look at the relationship as not working because we act a certain way. We talk a certain way. We start scheming. I mean, that's all I got from you. It's obvious you put that dude on the phone for a half hour and it should have been 15 minutes. I'll bound my way. Instead, you kept that guy on the phone and then you were scheming with two other guys. I mean, come on. I'm not trying to talk on nobody. Know what you're worth. Know your worth. Don't look like a, a somebody that keeps just giving out your energy the way you do.